I just got schooled by Josh over at Traceroute about a very important thing you need to know if you are copying VirtualBox machines. <laughs> Do PLC training and have eight identical stations, but that's caused an issue with our MAC addresses that I never realized. MAC addresses should be unique to every device out there in the world. In other words, I always tell my students, they're kind of your social security number. There's something that only you have. You don't share your social security number and it doesn't change. Now the IP address, which is what we usually communicate with, it can change often. Most people call me Tim. My actual name is Timothy. And a lot of you call me TW. So that name can change really often, although I have the same social security number. So that should be the same way, except for when we're dealing with virtual machines, we're also dealing with virtual MAC addresses. So while I'm in my virtual box, if I go to devices and network and then network settings, under advanced, right there is my MAC address. Now at our PLC training center, we have eight stations and they are exactly the same. In fact, when I'm doing development, on something new, I'll do it on this station, and then I copy the virtual box to each station afterwards. Remember my MAC address entered in 97 on my PC? Well, here's station one with 97. Here's station two with 97. Here's station three with 97. Here's station four with 97. Yep, you can guess that there's eight with 97, seven with 97, six with 97, and five with 97. Admittedly, I have really cheap unmanaged switches here, but I'm pretty impressed now that these unmanaged switches are managing to switch this MAC address constantly between all these machines and halfway keep the network up. Now we're gonna have another conversation about managed switches later, but let's see if we can fix this. So we're gonna to need to generate a MAC address, and that's what this does right here, but you do have to have the machine shut down. So I am just gonna simply go to start, shut down. Now I'm gonna open up VirtualBox, and I'll go to Settings, Network, Advanced, and now I have a refresh there. So I'm just gonna click it, and I have a new random MAC address, and open it back up. Now I can open up Studio 5000, and I'm actually gonna put this produced and consume exercise back in, because what I found is when I had all the traffic moving across the network, really the PLCs performed perfectly, but my laptops, they would just bounce in and offline, or actually it appeared that the compact logics we're bouncing in and offline. So thank you, Josh from Traceroute, for helping me out with this. Also, thank you to Rockwell Automation, who was patient and trying to help me. And I have made this playlist with some other helpful networking tips.